Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Python programming environment on a Chromebook with the Pulsar text editor. But first, if you like videos like this, where I install software and show you how to set up software or set up programming environments on a Chromebook and on Windows, then please subscribe. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get to the video. Okay, the first thing I need to do is enable the Linux development environment. And to do that, I'm going to click on the launcher here and then click on settings or find settings. And on the left hand side, I'm going to go on down to advanced and I'll click on that. And I'm going to go down to developers, click on developers, and then click turn on. I'm going to click next. Now it's going to give me a username based off my email and also a recommended disk size. The disk size can be changed at a later point. I think the username, once you set it, it's what it is. So if you want to change it, change it now. Um, I'm going to click install. I'm going to keep both the same as is and click install. And that's going to take a few moments. So I'll come on back once that's done. OK, once the Linux development environment is installed, a terminal will pop up. And we want to make sure that everything's up to date. I'm going to maximize this and just increase the font size here so you can see what I'm doing. And to make sure everything is up to date, we're going to type sudo apt get update and then two ampersands for and and then sudo apt get up, uh, dist upgrade. Dist upgrade and do a dash y flag here and hit enter. Okay, and that's going to take a few moments to run on through, so I'll come on back once that's done. Once the Linux development environment is enabled, we can go ahead and install the Pulsar editor. So what I'm going to do is minimize this terminal here, and I'm going to open up a new browser window. And I'm going to search for Pulsar text editor. Okay, I'll hit enter. And let me maximize this. And we'll get the site pulsar-edit.dev. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to click download. Now. I'm going to make a note here that I am using an AMD slash Intel based Chromebook. I don't have an ARM based Chromebook, so the technique for the ARM based Chromebook may be slightly different. Okay, with that out of the way, let's scroll on down and I'm going to go to the regular releases here and I'm going to click on Linux. Okay, now you notice here I'm going to download this top uh, dev file here, but you'll see here for ARM based devices. Uh, they have a .deb. Again, I don't have an ARM-based Chromebook, but I'm assuming, uh, and you want to do your own research, of course, that you would download this one for an ARM-based device. Okay, so for my device, the Intel-based Chromebook, I'm going to download this, and I'm going to let that download, and once that's done, I'll come on back. Okay, once that's downloaded, I can find that in my Downloads folder, or I can click Show in Folder here, and I see this .deb file. I'm going to right click and click install with Linux. That's going to go out and fetch some information. I'll click install and then OK. And I'm going to go let that install. Once that's done, I'll come on back. Once that's installed, you'll get this message to launch or you can just go to your launcher here and either search for Pulsar or, or find the icon. I'm going to right click and pin this icon to my shelf here. So I can open that later. I'm also going to pin the terminal to the shelf and just move it over here. I'll close out this uh, file explorer. Let's bring back up the terminal here and let's make a Python file directory. So I'm going to do mkdir and let's just call it Python. So I'm making the directory Python. I'm going to cd into Python and then I'll open up Pulsar in this directory by typing Pulsar and a dot and hitting enter. Okay, and Pulsar is going to open up in there. Let me just expand this and let's close out some of these extras here. Okay, and if I want to create a Python file, I can just hover over this folder and type lowercase a, and that'll allow me to create a file. Let's call it hello.py, and I'll hit enter. Now, Pulsar out of the box will have syntax highlighting for Python, but let's uh, test out our program. So. I'm just going to make this larger and I'm going to type print and let's do hello my name is Tim. I'll save it 
And now to run the program, we can pop open the terminal here. And in that folder, all we have to do is Python 3 and then the name of the file, hello.py, and hit enter. And we get, hello, my name is Tim. So now you can program on your Chromebook using the Pulsar text editor in Python. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.